Sure. I, I, I would say South Asian is a more common term uh, and a more modern term in terms of describing those of us who are from t our, ourselves or our families are from the Indian continent. And Indo-Canadian, I would say, is more outdated on the, in the, on the mainland for sure. Okay. I'm not sure what it's like on the island, right? right. Um, in the Fraser region, Metro Vancouver area, uh, it's, it's South Asian is, is the terminology that we use. And it's, and it's encompassing of those coming with the background, speaking Punjabi, Hindi, Urdu, is, it, is the umbrella of uh, populations that come within South Asians. Right. So uh, in the respectful way to mm -hmm. approach it is South Asian. Uh, yes. What happens when you encounter people that use the other term or from people out, outside of the community? Well, you still see that, actually. Um, like, you see it on documentation. Uh, federal grants will still say, you know, are you Indo-Canadian? And it, instantly for me, what it triggers is, well, this is a little bit outdated. You haven't talked to anyone in this community, right? right. right. So that, that's what it triggers, right? And when you hear the term, it's, it's not offensive or anything in any way. It yeah. feels just a bit outdated now. Um, and I think that could be because I work on the funding side of things, proposal writing, grant writing. Yes. And mostly our funders are up to date in, in the terminology of how we describe our demographic um, basis. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, thank you for that.